Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And um, <clears throat> we just got the news that Charlotte Tilbury officially landed in Alta, and so I thought I'd go ahead and do as much of a full face of Charlotte Tilbury as I have, and um, go ahead and remind everybody of all the products and all the really good products that she really has. And I kind of miss her going ahead and releasing a product and, you know, staying up late and trying to order it on the first. And I have a couple of products that I did that with, and and I didn't get exactly probably what I should have but I think they turned out kind of fun anyway so um, sometimes the fun is in just uh, staying up late and ordering online I don't know but anyway um, so I started off today with the super goop uh, glow oil with the SPF 50 and that's what I have on there I did go ahead and use Charlotte's beautiful skin I'm or I have mine in three cool and so that's what I have on and um, that did end up being a really good match for me and um, again it was one of the things that the foundation had just gone out and I didn't want to order it online because I knew you know it would take a while to get to me so I went and took a chance on three cool and um, yeah I think that it turned out really well. It wasn't a match that I expected would work that well for me, but it really did. So that's what I did there. Um, I did order this actually, I think, from one of the Christmas or the holiday collections. So I went ahead and I got the Pillow Talk as far as the lip liner. And then I had the Pillow Talk. Um, and actually I had three different versions of Pillow Talk on the lips. So I had the lip liner, I had the lipstick, the mini lipstick, and then I also have the lip, um, well I would consider it a lip gloss, I'm not sure exactly what the name of it is, but they're all in Pillow Talk, so Pillow Talk three different ways on the lips here. So yeah, and again, really pretty rosewood brown that just goes with so many people's complexions, and it's just really gorgeous. And yeah, but I think some of these um, holiday sets are still available on Sephora, so if you want to go ahead, and I didn't get this one, I really had... I was wanting to get it, but um, the holiday set they had for this year where you could get the mini lipsticks, and it actually has a couple of the lipsticks that I don't have, and I just, I, I got going with other stuff, and I didn't pick it up, but I would highly recommend the lipsticks if you want to try them out. Sephora has those sets um, in their minis area. And I would definitely go ahead and try that to see which formula you like the best. But all of Charlotte Tilbury's um, complexion products, all of her lip products, um, I think the only thing that really she doesn't get a thumbs up all the time on are her eyeshadows. And um, even then, I mean, she half of those people love her holiday holiday you know eyeshadows and then half of them are like well and um i think the only thing her quads are her quad or her eyeshadows that are in the quads always sort of get a kind of because uh -huh, they're really expensive but you know they're really good quality too so um i guess probably the only thing that she doesn't like I said, that she doesn't always get woo accolades on is her eyeshadows, and it's just because quads are pretty expensive, you know. But all of her complexion products, and to move on to complexion products, and it's all Charlotte Tilbury today, and it's all gorgeous. And um, so do we remember when this came out? This is her bronzer. This is another one that I stayed up and I ordered off of, and I wasn't able to order it off of one website because it had already sold out. So I ordered it off of another website. 
but unfortunately it was just about sold out as well and this is going to be the beautiful skin bronzer in shade two i should have gotten shade one but like i said i stayed up late i was really excited i wanted to get it and so i got shade two and um, you can wear shade two if, even if you're fair and so I definitely have that on or I have it on um, as my bronzer but I actually went ahead and added in the other bronzer and this is a Hollywood um, filter bronze and glow Hollywood and this one I would say this is your gateway drug to Charlotte Tilbury and I have uh, this bronzer on as well. Um, I don't actually have any of this highlighter on, but this bronzer and this this little compact, and it's so cute. And it just looks like a cigarette case from Hollywood back in the golden era. And you expect somebody to, you know, open it up and um, offer you a cigarette out of it. And it's just to me it's really classy and really cute so i really like it and if you can go with one charlotte tilbury product to try i would say try this one first and then um they do have this in a couple of different shades and this would be my recommendation of what to try first because that is a gorgeous highlighter highlighter and bronzer it's just gorgeous and when i think of charlotte tilbury I think of packaging and complexion pro um, and complexion products and this is just this is what I think of when I think of Charlotte Tilbury so uh, the other products I went ahead and used was pillow talk again and so this is going to be the actual blush and highlighter and so yeah these are the nipple blushes, I think is what they were named at one point, and so really pretty. And once I get started with the uh, Charlotte Tilbury wands, it's kind of difficult to get me to stop. So uh, what I did was I went ahead and used, um, this is the first one that came out. This is just a golden one. And then I used the pink one as well. So I mixed both of these as a highlighter on top of the pillow top today. So that's what I have on there. And then I came to use another iconic product from Charlotte Tilbury. And this is her powder that everybody raved on and on about, and it deserves it. Um, I have mine in Fair One, and this powder is gorgeous. It literally goes ahead and just erases lines. So I'd love to go ahead and use this powder. It also mattifies a little bit, and just is really, really pretty. So, there we go, as far as magnifying everything a little bit. And, yeah, if you want something that just erases uh, fine lines and texture, this kind of does it. And so it's pretty wonderful. Um, let's see, do I have any other Charlotte Tilbury products on? I think that's just about everything. Um, I did use my usual suspects. I went ahead and used the Essence Thick and Wow and Caramel Blonde for the brows, and then the Sky High by Maybelline as far as the mascara that I have on. And then as far as what I did for the eyes, and I mean, when you get going with a look like this, it just sends a you just need to go ahead and do the full the full look and the full look is going ahead and adding in an eye that has a lot of rose and rosewood and all those colors in it that you put all over the face and for me i went ahead and got the smoke and roses palette out by ColourPop. this one you can get at ulta too so if you're in there buying some charlotte uh, tilbury you can pick this up as well usually they have this available in store this is one of the ones that they have there from ColourPop, and it's a beautiful palette. I went ahead and used this on the crease today, 
and then I went ahead and used this one on the inner corner and um, let's see I used this on the outer corner went ahead and used uh, let's see um, okay so I used this one on the outer corner as well and then these three I went ahead and used uh, going toward the inner part of the eyes so I just put like little vertical strips of all three of these colors and I just went boom 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 like that toward the inner eye to go ahead and get a really rosy effect and then I did go ahead and use a ColourPop gel eyeliner to go with it this way that the look came out and like I said since we were going all rosewood and it's all rosy and rosy brown and everything I just wanted to like complete that or do it all in that same sort of undertone so that's where we kind of ended up with all the maroon and the rose and everything going everywhere I think it turned out really well and I would there's so many products that she just does amazingly well like I said this is the product that I always connect with her and it's one of my favorites I would definitely recommend this uh, the beautiful skin foundation really like it all of her complexion products so any of her bronzers are gorgeous any of her blushes are gorgeous her highlighters and her highlighters both in the powder form and also the wands I mean she's just been she's probably the most duped um, person or the most duped brand at this point right so the highlighters and everything um, the this is actually one of the this is peach gasm so this is uh, one of the blushes that actually has a lot of shimmer in it would definitely recommend this as well and uh, it's just fun collecting Charlotte Tilbury it's fun when she has a release and you stay up late trying to go ahead and get a hold of it and even if you get the wrong color you can still make it work and it's still fun and yes I do actually want to pick up uh, the fair shade in this for me but I'm at the time I was just it was you know a brand new product and everybody wanted to try it and so we were all staying up late to order it and um, yeah uh, there are a lot of fun around her releases her products um, her lipsticks are amazingly great and uh, they're <clears throat> excuse me the um, the matte formula is really easy to wear so many matte formulas they're just so dry and so difficult and you're just sitting there going I just want to get this off my face not her formula her formula is wonderful her packaging again is gorgeous and these are the minis and this is um, a different formula this is actually going to be the yeah this is more of a lip gloss formula where the other ones are matte lipstick formulas and you can get pillow talk regular you can get pillow talk medium pillow talk, uh, dark all sorts of other shade ranges and yeah there's so many good products for Charlotte Tilbury um, and they are more expensive they are definitely high-end but they're wonderful so if there's you know I would say definitely go ahead and try and um, I hope that she does really well in Ulta and her line is just pretty amazing so I'll see you later bye